Hi, I'm a foreign university student studying in Germany. You want to study in Germany too, but don't know where to start? Well, there's lots to do, but in this video, I'm going to be discussing what you require to study in Germany and what you can do before arriving. Now, before you start on this journey, quick disclaimer. Some of the details mentioned may vary depending on where you come from. Now, let's get started on what you need. First things first, you need to prove you graduated from a secondary school that qualifies you to get a higher education in Germany. You can check out if you qualify by clicking on the link in the description. Or if you have your eyes set on a specific university, <coughs> IU, <coughs> just reach out to the international office to see if you meet the requirements. If you find yourself lacking in this aspect, then you might need to take some foundation courses. These make up two semesters. To enroll in them, you will need to get to our next point. Number two, learn German. The foundation courses mentioned are typically held in German, so you'll need to obtain a German level of at least B1. Now, even if you don't want to take any foundation courses, having B1 German will increase your chances of acceptance regardless of the university. Not to mention, it'll open a whole bunch of doors that would otherwise be close to you when living in Germany. You will find it easier to live here and meet and mingle with the locals. Number three, apply to the university of your choice. For this, you definitely need to check with your university's international office. Generally though, here's what you need. An officially certified copy of your higher education entrance qualification, an overview of your subjects and grades with official translation, a passport photograph, a photocopy of your passport, the name and photograph page, and certified copies of your language certificates. If you're applying for a master's, then you also need to provide a certified copy of your other higher education degree. Now at IU, we embrace who you are and together we can play to your strengths. Get in touch with us and we'll talk to you personally and find the best way to help you achieve your goals. With IU, you don't necessarily have to have a secondary school certificate to get into our programs. If you have at least two years of vocational training and three years of work experience in that training, you can get into a program with us. If you're planning to apply for a course that's offered in the German language, you'll need at least a B2 level of German. And for all the psychology programs, a C1 language level is required. If you want to go for English language based degree programs, proof of your language skill can be provided in one of the following ways. TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo English test, Cambridge certificate, or equivalent proof through the free IU English course. For that final point, please contact our student advisory service. Number four, a study visa. Now this final step is the biggest, but you can't start preparing for it until you've been accepted at a university. Once you get that approval, you now need to organize your finances, proof that you can fund your life in Germany. The best way to do this is a blocked account, otherwise known as a Sperrkonto. It's a secure account that holds enough money to finance you for one academic year. This money can be withdrawn only once you're in Germany, and then you can only get a portion of the count every month, like an allowance. As of January 2023, you need to set up a Sperrkonto with funds of 934 euros per month, which totals to 11,208 euros per year. Once a Sperrkonto is set up with your preferred blocked account provider, they should then send you a document that proves your deposit, which you submit when applying for the visa. These providers could also help you with obtaining travel and German health insurance, because this is one of the requirements needed for applying for the visa. But you can get a list of documents the German embassy requires from you by visiting their website. If you completed all of the above, good job, but you're definitely not done. What I just mentioned were the baby steps of the baby steps. You can plan on this stuff while you're still in your home country, but it's just the start of the journey. Check out our video on what moving to Germany is like and the other things you should account and plan for. I sincerely hope you like this video. Everyone's journey is different, so please let me know how yours is going or how it went for you in the comments. See you in the next video.